Hey guys, it's Fleckus, uh, still at the protest. Uh, who am I here with? Samantha. How do you feel about Donald Trump? I think he's a super racist, dangerous, uh, terrible, terrible human. Uh, would you say you're a socialist? Uh, probably, yeah. Cool. I don't know. What do you think about the immigration stuff going on right now? I think there shouldn't be any borders and they need to reunite families because that's some disgusting, inhumane sort of. Definitely. Does that kind of contradict as a socialist though because bringing in unskilled laborers would be kind of detrimental? Uh, no, I think uh, sort of uh, every, every community Wah, wah, wah. Uh, <laughs> every community would benefit from uh, diversity. There's, there's never any wrong way. Socialism-wise, though, if you bring in unskilled laborers, it kind of affects. Uh, for socialism, supply and demand becomes the workforce. So if you bring in unskilled laborers from other countries, it kind of jams up the workforce. Oh, maybe. What are we protesting here today? Everything he does. Everything he does. We're just anti-Trump altogether. Um, he doesn't belong in the White House. Neither does any of the people that he hired. They're all racist and they're corrupt and they're stealing money off the backs of American workers. Very cool. Who'd you guys vote for? I, well, I actually... If Trump wants to be the world leader that he continuously says he is, then we, everyone has the right to know. I'm not running to be president of the world. I'm running to be president of the United States of America. What does Antifa think about all this? Um, it's not a full fascist program yet, but what, once he gets his, his like hands up, like, you know, Hitler didn't start out on day one and was like, all right, I've got camp. If we, if we want any progress at all, like, in human understanding, in like just uh, what, what we've evolved past, like this, it, it won't come to be under under all this. Like it just, it all needs to go. Who did you vote for? Uh, um, I don't vote. I feel like he's covered up most of that stuff with money. It's, Which hate crimes? Well, for example, I'll tell you. I'll tell you one one uh, example I know for sure. Uh, one of my friends, he works at a subway, he's the manager. There was a kid that came in. This isn't a hate crime, but this is racism. It's just a normal kid came in, and uh, he gave him a sandwich and everything. And uh, afterwards, the kid called him a beaner. And it's just like, why, why on earth? And what is it that you want to see from the tax returns? What do you think he's hiding? I have no idea. What are you thinking he's hiding in his tax returns? I have no idea. What are you thinking that he's hiding with the tax return itself? Honestly, I think that uh, he's got a lot of um, uh, anti-gay stuff that he's been hiding. Um, what kind of anti-gay stuff? Just like, um, I don't know for sure. Does Antifa do taxes? Uh, hell no. Do you guys just get yours done or no? Uh, I don't use money. All right, guys, it's Fleckus. We're out here protesting right above the 101, and I'm here with... John. And John, how long have you been here today? Been here pretty much since this morning, around 12. Who am I standing here with? Uh, revolution. <laughs> the Revolution, doesn't want to say his name, totally cool. And what exactly are you protesting? Uh, basically, it's just simple. Fuck him, his pipeline, and his feminist um, regime, along with Mike Pence. Very cool, very cool. And uh, who did you vote for, if you don't mind me asking? Actually, I voted for Bernie Sanders, believe it or not. Very cool. Uh, would you consider yourself to be a socialist? Um, kind of, but at the same time, anarchist, if it goes, or if it gets to that point. Because words are just words until action actually starts. And actions speak louder than words, but at the same time, words speak louder than actions because sometimes it's the right thing to do. Very cool. And what are some of the actions that can take place in order to protest Trump properly and really get her message across? Just keep taking to the streets no matter what, because we got to get him out of office. And for those people who already know that he's already tweeting that he hates his job because we're doing all this against him. Fuck Trump. Uh, Why fuck Trump, though? Uh, because, um, what is it? Everybody has the right to be in this country. I mean, it's the land of freedom and liberty. Yeah, if you're in the U.S. already, you have the right to be here, but you don't have the right to immigrate here. How do you think America got here? How do you think all these, um, not to get racist or anything, 
But look at this, look at Spain and what they did. So would you say we're all immigrants? Yeah. Were you born in America? Yes, I was. So you're not an immigrant? And fuck Trump. It's fucking, this is what the fuck I do. I fucking carry my shit. Fuck you, homie. Fuck you, you fucking coward. You're a, you're a coward, a racist, a bigotrist, a whatever, sis. All that, sis, that everything that consists of that, what you are. And you are that, and you're never gonna, you're never gonna be righteous. And at the end of the day, homie, you got to, you got to meet your maker. Um, who did you vote for? I ain't vote for nobody, bro. I'm here with Anonymous. Hi. Just like everyone's so scared, well, these people are going to come and bomb us. What? Because there's one, a, a few extremists in the batch? Like, no. That's do you think that if we didn't have an additional vetting process, that this would be a perfect opportunity for the extremists to come in and do what they want to do? Irregardless, that's not fair to say. Irregardless is not a word. That isn't fair to say. You can't say, well, we need to vet these people because they're angry because we're bombing them. But anything besides full-on legal documentation, you are not. You you will be stopped. You are military. vetted. You are definitely. No, you're you're detained for and asked more questions because you were hanging around in countries that are terrorist hotbeds. It doesn't. You're. You're letting the United States government like brainwash you thinking like I think you're letting Instagram and Facebook brainwash you into thinking no. you're doing something. I have had one-on-one -on -one conversations with people from Syria. Do you need to know exactly what sources you're getting your information from because if you ask anyone in Syria right now, they'll tell you that they had a perfectly fine democratic society. Anyone in Syria? If you're gay in Syria, you get thrown off a roof. That's Syria. I had a personal conversation with Chief Standing uh Standing Bull Sitting Bull from the Sioux tribe. A personal one-on-one -on -one conversation with the chief of the Sioux tribe, so I know exactly what's going on. I don't just believe what I hear. I go and talk to people firsthand and get their stories and find out what's going on. Do you on. think that there's bad people that you're not getting the story from? Have you ever uh, talked to a terrorist? I have talked to extremists, yes. Where? Do you want to know why they're so angry? Where did that you talk matter. to this extremist? I will never say that on your camera, no. So where's it in America? It, irregardless, please do not ask me. Irregardless is no word. Right. Please do not ask me that. This is serious. I'm not so, like... So, so you have America's best interest, but you've spoken with extremists and you won't tell the authorities of who these people are? Why would I say that on camera? I don't know. I'm, that's exactly. why I want to know why you would say that on camera. Common sense to, to ask me that question on camera. Obviously, you have no common sense to say that you've spoken to terrorist extremists and did not report it. Yes. No, I have not. Never, never, ever. We'll check the tape, I guess. Um, who did you vote for? Um, I did not vote. Oh. <laughs> the whole time? You didn't vote? Oh, man. All right. Well, why are you against Trump? Because he's an evil dictator. What do you think his most evil characteristics are? Uh, he's a capitalist. Okay, so are you a socialist? I'm a communist. Communist? Okay. Where has communism worked? It's kind of worked in America, in a way, back in the day. No? The economy's gotten a lot better since he's been in office. Illegal immigration's gone down. Do you think that there's good parts about Trump's policies? If you look at it that way, that's sure. But um, I don't know. I don't follow politics. So. He made this happen so we cannot look up animal abuse in our country. That information came off the site for illegal reasons, a privacy issue. It had nothing to do with changing policy. But as American citizens, we should be able to look up animal abusers in this country. The information is going to go back up as soon as the legal issue is settled. It does not matter. He supports animal abuse. Donald Trump. 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 Hashtag Trump. Why, why, why? Because yeah. him, bro. Come on, come on, I got you. Because he's racist, bro. Why is he racist? What do you do? What do you mean, why is he racist? What's this racist thing he did? He's getting rid of everybody. He's trying to deport. Yeah, he's trying to build walls up. Like, come on. Anybody that supports Trump, Trump they're against ladies. They're like, not against ladies. I'm not against ladies. I have a sister and a mom. It's he's great. Trump supporter. But I'm not against ladies. You're, if you're a Trump supporter, you're a hater. I got him cheesing. Everybody knows that I'm really going to rhyme, but what's this guy talking about? Like, his philosophy really going to shine. I'm like, for reals, though, we all need equality. Black and brown power. Ain't nobody stopping me. Ain't nobody dropping me on the album, you see. I come through freestyling, you see. I'm wilding, you see. So, f Trump. Yeah, we're, rap we're rapping here. We're rap battling on the streets. But there's more important things, like people and people peace. We gotta come together. One goal, one God. Everyone knows. We love that movie Hot Rod. We love that movie Hot Rod.